civil engineering is the fact that it's incredibly diverse. So you can branch out into any any field you want, really. So you can work in the mining sector. You could you could purely be a project manager manager for uh, land development. Uh, you can become an expert consultant in a particular topic. Structural designer or a geotechnical engineer. The opportunities are endless. Tell us, Toby, what made you choose to become an engineer? Well, Dallas, I always had an interest in how things were built and put together. And uh, during high school, I was fairly keen on my maths and physics and those subjects. So uh, instead of probably doing a trade when I completed year 12, I figured that a degree in engineering would give me the opportunities to work in an interesting environment in a professional capacity. Okay, Toby, talk us through the steps involved in gaining your qualification and employment at Lower Murray Water, please. Um, so I made sure that I picked yeah, maths methods and physics and specialist maths, which I don't think it was compulsory, but certainly helped uh, down the track uh, for year 11 and 12, so there being the requisite subjects for the course. So after high school, I enrolled in a Bachelor of uh, Civil Engineering at La Trobe in Bendigo, um, civil being the only discipline that they still offer there, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so then at the end of the four year course, um, yeah, applied for jobs once I left and uh, got this job here at Lime Murray Water. Okay, what are the main aspects of your role here at Lime Murray Water, Toby? Um, so primarily I'll manage sort of small to medium civil projects and um, within our infrastructure team. Um, and I can be involved in every step of the way, so right through from your investigation, conception, uh, your survey and detailed design, uh, procuring materials, uh, supervising, ensuring things are up to scratch, and then recording as built information and right through to paying the, paying the bills. So. so what advice would you give a young person who are considering a career in engineering, Tony? Well, I'd, I'd tell them to go and speak to their careers advisor at high school and they'll give them plenty of good advice and a step in the right direction. Uh, perhaps even if you get the opportunity to do a bit of work experience with a local engineering firm, perhaps a local council or a consultancy. And uh, perhaps even go, to, go and speak to someone who you may know as an engineer, myself included, I'd be happy to answer some questions. Thanks, Toby. No worries, Dallas. It's been an absolute pleasure. <laughs>